it's so cold outside i can't get myself to get out the door and go for a walk or a run or to the gym i don't know how to do it maybe that's what you're saying to yourself right now and although i sit here in a tank top because i live in florida it may be very cold or snowy where you are so how do you get up and get out the door and do it anyways and this video i'm going to give to you my top four tips in order to get yourself up and out the door my name is Leslie Erbis. I'm a registered dietitian and I'm a personal trainer and I'm here today to give you those four tips. The first tip I have for you for getting yourself out the door may seem really simple and silly, but buy yourself something new that's warm and fuzzy that you would want to wear. Could be a hat, could be a new jacket, could be gloves, could be whatever it is. But if you have something new to wear, you typically have a little pump, pump in your step like, ah, I can't wait to wear this, right? I can't wait to put that on. I can't wait to use it right so give yourself something new especially in this time of year and give yourself a reason to want to get up and wear it so buy yourself some new running gloves buy yourself some new running leggings whatever it may be give yourself something cool new to wear so that way you want to get out and go use it the second thing maybe invest in some good warmers like hand warmers or feet warmers or nowadays they even have like insulated jackets that actually have heat on them some of the links are tagged below this video, so please feel free to look at them. Why? Because if you're a little bit warmer when you head out the door, you're gonna be a little bit more amped to go ahead and complete the activity because part of it is you just don't wanna go out in the cold. In addition, when we're cold, our muscles and our molecules contract, so we are all tight in ourselves versus when we're hot, we're like, I need to be spread out, I need to you know, move, your molecules are really moving. So you feel warmer, you feel more energy, you feel that get up and go, versus when it's cold, you just wanna stay and snuggle because of how cold it is. That heat will help to generate some of the blood flow, which will get you up and moving. The third thing is, remember to continue to think of your why. Why are you working out? Why are you walking? Why are you going to the gym? Why are you going for the run? Maybe you're training for a marathon. Maybe you're training for a triathlon. Maybe you just wanna stay in shape. Maybe you want a six pack. Maybe you just had a baby and you're trying to get back down to your pre-pregnancy weight. Whatever it may be, I want you to get up and use that why. Keep it posted by your bed, post it on your phone, post it with the tennis shoes, keep it handy. And the fourth thing is always have the workout clothes ready. Okay, so if you wake up in the morning and that's when you're initially gonna work out, have everything ready by your sink. Have everything ready by your bed. Heck, wear your workout clothes to bed. Or if you're going straight from work, put your tennis shoes on the seat of your car. So there is like your front seat, okay? So you have to physically move them. So if you don't go to the gym, you're literally saying no versus just putting the shoes on and getting yourself to go do the activity. These small things put into place will help you to keep you motivated, to keep you to get out that door and get moving and keep the weight down even though it's those winter's months. So enjoy those top four tips. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and enjoy, even if it's snowing where you are, some of the new little tips to get yourself up, going, and out the door. Have a good one.